Okay, something I thought you should know about the Perium Cleanse. Yes, when you do the 10 day cleanse, you're gonna feel amazing. At the end of it, you're gonna feel like you have a new lease on life because you've been alkalizing your body, you've been giving it all these super nutrient dense foods, you're gonna feel great. The thing is that I found out that after the cleanse, I need to be careful about what I put in my body because my body has become so clean that it's highly sensitive to things like, say, perhaps cacao, which I love, and I know a lot of you guys love it too, but I did my own research, right? My friend gave me all this zucchini, so I was making zucchini chips and zucchini pesto, and then there was a recipe for zucchini muffins that called for cacao chips. So I put the cacao chips in, ate them, for a couple of days. And you know what? The initial surge, like the stimulant, is just like, wow, this is great. I love the flavor. I love the taste. But you know what? I was up at midnight. I was up at 2 o'clock. I was up at 4 o'clock. And I was laying in bed going, dang, that cacao. I got up. I took it out of my freezer. I thought I could hide it in my freezer. No. And I threw it in the garbage can because I would rather get a full night's sleep than waking up every couple hours from this stimulant. And your body does become like this really clean running machine after the Perium Cleanse. Mine does anyway. I mean, I am sensitive. Other people say, oh, I have a high tolerance for caffeine. I have a high tolerance for a bunch of chocolate and stuff like that. But I think it's just because their body, um, I don't know. How can I say this without offending people? I'll just say from my perspective, the cleaner my body gets, the more I am aware of stimulants. And Dr. Brian Clement, Neil Barnard, a lot of different people have said, actually, cacao is toxic. And I know some of you hate me right now because you love the taste of it. I do too. I just wanted to give you a little warning that when you do the Perium Cleanse, you're going to feel great. And then you're going to have a benchmark for how great you can feel. And then when you put anything else in your body that isn't really high quality and nutrient dense and alkalizing, you're going to feel that too. And the effects for me weren't that great. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to do another cleanse starting September 13th. If you'd like to join me, I'll give you a link right here on how to sign up for it. It's really amazing and it's a lot more fun to do it with more people. So if you're interested, I do the cleanse four times a year now. Every time I feel better and better and more in touch with my body. So I hope you join me and uh, take it easy. We'll see you next time.